this video is proudly sponsored by Bespoke Post. Now, Bespoke Post are, at this point, good friends of mine. I've been working with them for more than a year, and they provide a monthly subscription service that every month they deliver a box of uh, themed goodies. It's free to join, and you can cancel at any time. But every month they'll select a box for you that's based on preferences from a quiz that you'll do when you sign up. And these boxes can range from a brewing coffee kit to uh, a whiskey tasting kit to a smoking kit. Absolutely everything that you could possibly think of bespoke have covered. Now, every box has around $70 worth of goods inside, but costs you only a fraction of that value. They buy from small businesses, and due to the volume of subscriptions they have, they can place bulk orders, keeping costs low. Now, one such box that they offer is the Weekender box. And it's an ultra stylish, ultra cool travel bag. Available in multiple colors. And for any weekend away, any stopovers, the Weekender box has you covered. I've also recently had a try of the Roast box. Now you'll know by now I'm a somewhat wannabe coffee connoisseur. This contains coffee beans, not coffee grounds. A burr grinder, and a burr grinder means it's using the teeth to grind the beans instead of the single blades that cheaper grinders will offer. And a pressure coffee machine. And these are just two of a very wide variety. Click the link below and enter the code ARTICULATE20 for 20% off. Or go to bespokepost.com forward slash ARTICULATE20. Again, you can cancel at any time. You can change out the box they offer you if you don't like it. You can skip a month. Completely flexible. It's awesome. Welcome. My name is Matt, and I'm the owner of this salon. And I have to say, it's fantastic to see you again. I feel like it's been a while since we've had you in, just for haircuts and nothing else. With that in mind, we'd like to make today extra special. Okay. In fact, today, not only will we be cutting and styling your hair to a level of expertise that is unrivaled, at least as far as we're concerned. But beyond that, or at least prior to that, we'll actually be treating your hair, okay? We'll be mixing up two different serums of our own design tailored specifically for your hair okay so before we start anything the most important thing for us is to have the proper and correct analysis of your hair because unless you understand the canvas that you're working on, it's very likely that you'll be choosing the wrong, or at least not the most effective tools for the job. Now, from a very quick glance, your hair looks 
healthy. A little bit dry. Are you styling it fairly frequently? Okay. And what kind of uh, shampoo are you using? Do you condition? And if so, uh, how often? All right. Well, I think the most pertinent question any hairstylist can ask a client is, um, how short would you like it? Understood loud and clear. Okay. Fantastic. Please do get comfortable. First thing we'll be doing is just moistening up the hair. Simple based distilled water, no minerals, uh, no alkaline, no acidity. Pure, natural, distilled water. Natural in the sense that there's no chemical well thus far. So let me have a little look here. Okay, let's grab my comb. Four prong. Naturalized brush. Okay. Just looking for the natural partition and the hairline. And unlike me, your hairline is uh, much stronger and isn't rushing for its confines and retreating. <laughs> All right. Just need a touch more water here. Excellent. Good. Good. Okay. The first thing I'd like to apply is what's called a ranging serum. Do you spend any time in the sun, any extended periods of time? Just a little bit of what I call sun tint, where the hair gets a little bit lighter if it's been in the sun for a little while. Okay. I'm going to make you up a protective serum, all right? We'll apply this, we'll actually cut a little bit into the hair with this serum applied, and then we'll generate a second, more of an elixir than a serum, um, and again, 
will cut while the elixir is applied. And as the elixir is doing its thing, we'll maybe apply a little bit of a mask and a moisturizing cream to the face. As wonderful and as handsome and beautiful as you are. Just a little bit of dryness there. Everyone deserves to be pampered. Okay. So what I'm going to do here Undo the lid. And the first is actually a deep cream protective lotion with a little bit of SPF in there. Yes, we can put uh, sun lotion in our hair. I wouldn't apply it directly, but in included into a serum is actually um, really very effective that smell that is actually blueberry despite its deep white color now into our and SPF will pump a little argan oil. Just um, five mils or so. That's a beautiful smell. Now already we're having a a reaction. The base depth cream mixes seamlessly with the organ oil. And everything in the first serum is oil based, which is why we get such a seamless blend. And now we add just a little mineral oil, much finer. But what this includes is a variety of vitamins, a B1, B2, a little bit of vitamin A, things that the hair absolutely Good. And one final ingredient. And this is actually a powder. the serum a binding effect and when I mean binding good. what I mean is that it allows the serum to penetrate serums will wash out before they're afforded the opportunity to really nourish the hair. See, it's a little bit thicker now. Just a little bit thicker. Now this is um,
we will see a reaction. Okay. Now, your hair is a little damp. perfect medium for applying a serum like this. Now let's paint it in. Now that looks really quite wonderful. Scissors. Today we'll be cutting with our thin grass shears. Thin grass. With my crimping scissors as backup. And we shouldn't need to apply too much additional liquidity fluid to the hair. The serum will act as a natural moistening agent coupled with a little bit of water we applied. And you can maybe see in the reflection we are applying a largely oil-based serum onto water-wet hair. And yet it blends seamlessly and easily. And that has to do with just how wet the hair is. If it had been soaking wet, uh, the serum would have been slipping a little bit and not really again binding to those hair follicles. start with the side. We'll 
trim the fringe, shorten up the back, cut in some layers to these longer portions at the side, trim around the ear a little bit, and really try to give a little more body to the hair, as beautiful as it is. We want to make sure that it it makes a statement, okay? Without being too bold, okay? first cut of hair is always uh, it's like breaking a seal it's that, it's that newness, that freshness, that anticipation of opportunity you know and I can actually work my very many talents is being able to multitask. I will be stepping off to the side here, okay? can feel the serum beginning to change there, to penetrate, as we said, into those roots, and really nourish, soften it. It was just a very touch dry when you came in. Looked healthy, it was well styled.
very good. little bit. Alright. That for our preliminary cut. It's sharp. And this isn't um, the finished product. It's just stage one, or rather, serum is stage one, the preliminary cut is stage two. And then we have three, the secondary elixir, the final cut. And then we'll get it styled. Okay. And the elixir is actually Distilled water base. Just a little bit. And of course, we'll be mixing water soluble ingredients. The first is something called Voya. And this is a softening agent. For there. And when I say softening, I mean the foundations of Voya sits within a, a deepened conditioner. It's almost a bit like applying a dry conditioner to your hair. Before we apply anything else, this will be mixed. And the moment the boya touches the water, we have an explosion of a floral scent. Quite beautiful. We have something like so. Now, we refer to our friends at LMS. And here we're applying just a touch of a silicon based all the amino acids and the silicon not in the traditional sense of what you're assuming when you hear the word silicon it can act as a, a binding agent for the hair it oxygenates a little bit you can see we have these oxygen bubbles now When we apply it to the hair, it's going to frizz a little bit, and that natural frizz will open the hair follicles. And when they split a little bit, not in the same sense as split ends, but when the hair splits, the liquid penetrates in, nourishing and healing. And Magnificent. And then we add just a dash of pine oil. Now this oil is thin enough. And the viscosity is of such that it will mix with our water base. 
There we go. That smells beautiful. And again, it gets painted into the hair. Very good. Your hair is already reacting to this. It's almost as if it's thickening up right before our eyes. And you can see in the mirror, right? I'm not uh, exaggerating in any way. Excellent. Now, I want to give this just a minute. In the interim, we're going to apply a cleanser to the face. of ethanol. Too much alcohol will dry the skin. But just a little bit of ethanol. Again, mixed with an argan-based oil. And the ethanol will tighten the skin. And the argan oil will penetrate and moisturize. So this is a cleanser, a moisturizer, and a toner in one. And this actually came from uh, my sister. She's a clinician, a dermatologist of sorts, who designs these products and insists on only a quality. Absorbed, so it's just a little bit dry. So we've 
tightened and softened, tightened and softened, okay, good, now we're just going to finalize the cut style, and then you'll be ready to Crimping a little bit here. Start the back. between the serum and the elixir. Your hair. There's a tangible change. Even the way we're brushing, it feels silky. It feels almost as a velvet finish to it. Very impressive. Just finalizing your other ear. 
Even me. 
Christ.